Exercise 7. My company's ending inventory includes the following items. Compute the lower cost or market for ending inventory, A as a whole, and B applied separately to each product. The first thing we do is calculate the total cost of each product. 17 helmets at $47 per helmet, $799. 10 bats at $75 per bat is $750. 31 pair of shoes at $92 per pair, $2,852, and 35 uniforms at $33 apiece, $1,155. The total cost of the inventory is $5,556. But it's important that we do not overstate assets, specifically inventory, on our balance sheet. So when we go to prepare financial statements, we're going to do what's known as a lower of cost or market comparison. If the market, which is defined as the replacement cost, has fallen to lower than cost, then we need to value the assets at the lower amount, the market. So now let's calculate the total replacement value, the market value of our inventory. In order to replace the 17 helmets, it would cost $51 per helmet. 17 helmets at the $51 market replacement cost is $867. It would cost $69 to replace the bats. 10 multiplied by 69 is 690. It would cost $88 per pair to replace the shoes. 31 multiplied by 88 is 2,728. And it would cost $33 to replace each of the uniforms. 35 multiplied by 33 is 1,155. The total market value of the inventory is $5,440. So if we compare the total cost, 5,556, with the total market, 5,440, the market is lower than cost. If the company chooses to apply lower of cost or market as a whole, the lower of total cost and total market is market, 5,440. If my company chooses to be even more conservative, they will apply the lower of cost or market calculation to each product. So when we look at the helmets, the lower of the cost, 799 versus market, 867, is the cost of 799. For the bats, the lower of cost or market is the $690 market value. For the shoes, the lower of cost or market is market, 2728. And for the uniforms, cost and market are the same. It results in an even more conservative inventory valuation $5,372.